I'm gonna keep it a step with you. A, a lot of women want to get married, yeah. but they don't want to be wives. Yeah. Yes. Remember, and 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 uh, an example of that: who initiates the divorces? Who breaks up the families? It's the woman, man. Like the statistical data is there. Like men will tr always try to make a marriage work, but it's the women that leave. Yeah, after he wanted to fuck the dolls on other women. But back then, women were willing to put up with a lot. They were. Right exactly. now, women yeah. are not. They're not. My That's grandparents true. have been married since they were 17. Yeah. My grandpa had a whole other kid with another oh. another woman, okay. and she still stood by him. Why? Because she was willing to put up with it. Nowadays, women are not willing to put up with, let, let, with let, anything. Let me ask you, was it a good environment for your parents for the most part? For my grandparents? No, for your parents to live underneath your grandparents. Oh, probably not. Why, why, why do you say probably not? why because of that's infidelity that's fighting that's you're you're seeing why is my mom divorced now why because she look what she grew up to or maybe you're i don't know no, your mom no, person, go ahead, but go ahead. maybe your mom decided i'm gonna prioritize me over the family mm -hmm. and you know what when you raise a kid in a divorced household and you put you prioritize your sense of happiness first what ends up happening is that the kid suffers the brunt of that negative energy and that choice that you make so when i say this is like your grandparents went like family units, the most important thing. I must make this work, even though I may not be completely content. I understand we're aspiring to something bigger, which is our sense of community. I'm not, not going to break that up because you did some I thought was wrong. So you get down to your parents' generation. This is the boomer generation, the highest divorce rates we've ever seen. Now everything's about me. They go to divorce courts. Where's your assets? Where's your money? They don't bring up love during that whole period. They say, I want everything that you fucking got. Love yep. never comes in, right? So then you get to this generation and they just completely throw that out. And I think one thing that the West, and I think in Western countries, we, we think about a lot is like me, it's always about me. Mm -hmm. And not recognizing when you marry, it's about a community. So your desires sometimes have to be a bit on the back burner and you have to understand you are sacrificing for something larger.